My name is Cliff Lundberg. I'm Executive Vice President at Westmont here and uh, was in charge of the master plan uh, approval process that took uh, six years and now uh, am in charge uh, primarily of development at Westmont. Well, the fire has caused us to uh, have two projects running simultaneously. Uh, speaking broadly, we have a reconstruction project to repair and uh, rebuild uh, the structures lost during the fire, but we also have phase one construction that started in late October to add four major buildings to the campus, and so that was underway before the fire actually happened. Well, the fire was certainly a distraction for uh, probably three weeks uh, while we both dealt with the fire and dealt with the uh, impacts on the students and faculty, but also uh, planned and cleaned up and uh, began the rebuilding process. We began working on this project um, and about seven years ago. My name is Randy Jones. I'm the director of campus planning, so I work with all the project planning on campus, the construction and uh, landscape, the general facilities, and the look at, and uh, functioning of the campus. Um, we actually submitted our first drawings in April of 2000. So that's actually eight, nine years ago now that we've been working on this part. The master plan actually was developed a few years before that. And so the, the building plans are in the building department. They're nearly complete um, for some of the structures, as you can tell. The grading plans have been issued and the land use permit. And we'll be um, beginning the structures of the buildings in the very near future. Uh, one building that we've already begun the structure on is the observatory. And so that uh, we've actually poured concrete for that structure. And that should be coming out of the ground fairly soon. The master plan itself uh, will probably encompass three or four phases, uh, but phase one will take place over about a two and a half year period. It encompasses four major buildings, a math science building, a visual arts building, a chapel, a residence hall, and then a smaller structure, a new observatory, which will house uh, our telescope that we uh, replaced and upgraded just a year ago. So it's extremely important to the college. We haven't built a major building here for 23 years and it's going to be a great addition in terms of classrooms uh, and have a, a, a wonderful benefit uh, to faculty and students alike. Well, we have two uh, major buildings going in as part of the uh, uh, Phase One construction. The first one that's behind me is Adams Center for the Visual Arts. That'll be a building that will house uh, printmaking, uh, various uh, art uh, department offices, and uh, will be a great addition to the campus, plus uh, an art gallery itself. Uh, the Adams Center, uh, like Winter Hall, is designed, again, to be naturally ventilated. Uh, one of the great things is we have a lot of art studios there. Uh, Cliff mentioned um, printmaking, but we also have uh, drawing, painting, uh, ceramics, um, sculpture. And so all of these large studios are, have, uh, are open, and they have large hangar doors on them. And so not only do they have an indoor working space, they have outdoor working space also, and the hangar doors can open up, let the fresh air in, and so you can work inside and outside as you're working on your art project. It's a very creative environment. And it's, a, it's again, one story in the top, two stories in the lower levels to make sure that we don't create canyons between these large buildings that are shaded, but there's always sunlight in. Even in, the, uh, in, the, in December, when the sun is at its lowest angle, we'll always have natural light between all the buildings here on campus, and so it doesn't feel like a, a true urban environment that, it, that we're able to enjoy the hillside here in Montecito. The buildings step up the hillside just like uh, uh, here in Montecito, just like the number of the homes do. This is the Winter Hall for Science. It will house mathematics, computer science, psychology, and physics. Uh, the, one of the unique things on a, on a small campus like ours, a liberal arts campus, is the professors teach all the students, teach all the classes. There's no graduate assistants. And so one of the things we've tried to do uh, is create various pavilions for each major on the upper floor. And that means that we'll have central learning lounges or study spaces where students can hang out and the faculty offices are all around that. And so the goal is to um, build a facility that will build communication within our campus. And so 
the students study where the, fact, where the professors are just inside uh, their office and outside their offices to make it a place where everybody's hanging out because we think a lot of education here happens outside of the classroom because the students do know the professors. They can ask them questions. Students can work together in the physics lounge. Um, they can have the specialized software that's very expensive on computers in that lounge. Students can come in and use it. And so we're trying to generate, build buildings, not that people just come and go to class, but where students gather, where people hang out, and it can be a place um, where they can learn together with their professors. And the architecture, uh, the, one of the goals is to make this as natural building as possible. And so um, the upper level, the pavilions we have uh, on those learning lounges, we have clear stories, and it's a naturally ventilated, naturally lit space. Um, the buildings are rather narrow and so that we can get natural light into all of the spaces. Um, there's not air conditioning in faculty offices or those lounges. We have ceiling fans, operable windows in this climate. There's only a few days a year that we really need to have air conditioning. And so trying to um, make these buildings as green as possible. Um, as you move down into the second level, it's set into the hillside. Um, the exterior walls will be constructed of the Santa Barbara sandstone. And so we're using the materials that we find here on the site. Uh, and again, to, to make it a, a green building using materials from the local area. And, and then uh, the, the facilities that you would think of in a science facility where they have special research that uh, require no windows or large lecture halls, those are all in the basement. And so it's better temperature control. We will still have air conditioning in some of the larger classrooms, but um, we have the temperature control and the building set up so that uh, to for minimal use of energy and a lot of use of natural light so that it feel, we can enjoy the outdoors here in Santa Barbara. I believe Westmont is already stronger uh, coming out of the uh, fire experience. It was something I wouldn't wish on anybody, but uh, we have had support come in from all over the world, uh, expressions of support by phone, by email, financial contributions, gifts in kind, offers of housing for the uh, faculty members who lost their homes. So uh, it's a great community and it has really come together as a part of the fire uh, effort.